What's going on, gang? Berserker99 here once again. And I've been sick for the past 10 days or so, all throughout Thanksgiving break, and my voice is not quite 100%. I'm feeling much better, but still not quite up to singing a song or anything. So I figured this would be the perfect time to do a Let's Play. I downloaded Contra Anniversary Collection yesterday, Cyber Monday. At the time of filming this yesterday was Cyber, Cyber Monday. And it was 50% off, so I downloaded it. And it's got the classic NES Contra game on here, which for me was the main draw. So, Im immediately I had to do a Let's Play of this game without the Konami code just to see if I could get through it without dying or losing all of my lives, whichever. I just didn't want to use the Konami code. So anyway, this is the first level. Here we are at the boss of the first level. I am Bill, I believe, and the other player two, which is, I don't have player two right now, I think he's Lance, I think. If I remember correctly. What I did was I played the game and this uh, anniversary collection has has a way to save your replay. So this is just what I did 15 minutes ago or whatever. <laughs> Pardon my nose if you hear me sniffling. Like I said, I've been through I've been through it all and back. I had pink eye, the first time ever I've ever had pink eye in my life. And I had also at the same time a uh, upper respiratory infection, which was really nasty. So today was my first day back at work. I had to use a sick day yesterday. All right, this is the base. There are two bases in this game. And this is based on the 1987 arcade game Contra. This home port for the Nintendo Entertainment System came out in 1988, one year later. And it's arguably, not even arguably, it, it is better than the arcade. I think most people would, would agree, this is the version most people grew up playing. I've got the spreader gun, what's called the spread gun, I call it the spreader. And it is the best weapon in the game, in my opinion. And I just keep getting the R upgrades, which stands for Rapid Fire. Stage 3, come on, get back in focus. Yeah, but, um... This level is very hard with Player 2, if, if you're not in sync with each other. If, you, if you're not on the same page. Because if Player 1 or Player 2 keeps going up... The, the level just keeps scrolling up, and if you get caught at the bottom, you're just going to die and lose a life. So, playing this level with two players is, is kind of tricky. The whole game, I guess, is more hard with two players. Right now, I've got some invincibility. An invincibility uh, upgrade. The B is, in, is a temporary invincibility. I, I'm not sure what the B stands for stands for boss. I'm so glad this game finally came available to uh, to play on a modern day console. I, it, it always baffled me why this game was never available for the virtual console, but yet its sequel, which is, well, it's okay, but Super C is available. It's on the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic. It's on the Virtual Console. It's on the Nintendo Switch Online uh, service. You know, it's, it's one of the Nintendo games you can play. But Contra, the original, was never there. was never available. So it's very cool that Konami released this with the uh, this anniversary collection here. All right, now we're going into the second base, which is um, a, another 3D-type uh, level. 
you know, these 3D levels were the way it integrated between 2D, side scrolling, these 3D levels, and then the 2D vertical waterfall level. That was just mind blowing in 1988 for a game to do that. You know, you're used to Pac-Man or Donkey Kong, one one static level that you're looking at, and that's all that you see. Uh, but of course, Nintendo with the entertainment system, uh, it broke a lot of boundaries, it broke a lot of walls. You can try to move forward, and you'll get shocked by that electrical current, but it won't kill you, but it will temporarily uh, leave you vulnerable to get hit, so just don't ever go forward until it's time to go. There's the R upgrade. See how much faster the weapon shoots rapid fire, and you just keep getting them over and over and over, and it just increases your power for this spread gun weapon. That ding, that means that's an extra an extra life I've gained. I, tell you, I really like this replay feature because it's hard to narrate and talk while playing a video game. So this is very ideal. See, I've got so many rapid fire upgrades that my weapon is just on fire. Those things look like Autobots from Transformers. I always thought that. Or... Yeah, they're Autobots. They're not the Decepticons. They look more like Autobots. While I'm at it, let me give a quick shout out to Sublime Gamer. You guys should go check out his channel, check out his content. He's always uploading some sort of video game stuff. Go to his channel, click that subscribe button, show him some love, tell him Berserker99 sent you. And he'll he'll love you for it. Alright, this snow field is very tricky. And I find the key to this is just to keep moving. Don't try to stop for too long because if you do, there's going to be enemies coming from your left and from your right to swarm you and just, who needs that? That's another rapid fire upgrade. I don't think I ever got this far in the arcade. So I'm really anxious to play the arcade version. It's on this collection. It's like seven Contra games on this thing, or something. It's unbelievable. It's awesome. This is back when Konami, you know, ruled the video game world along with Capcom. I just thought it was pretty cool. He's he's running with no shirt on through the snow. See, when I get this spread gun, I don't get any other weapon. I stick with it the whole time. Don't get that. That's a weapon you don't want. Alright, we're coming upon the end of this level. All of the bosses... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> All of the bosses are relatively easy once you know how to kill them. Okay, 
excuse me, I'm going to get up over here and get a cough drop while the replay continues. Pardon me getting the cough drop, that's me digging into the bag there. Okay, this level's very tricky. You've got enemies that can shoot, uh, you can't duck the bullets, you'll have to jump if they shoot at your feet. That guy, that red guy, he can shoot in any, any direction. And there's the, the bullets coming on the ground there. Don't get that, don't click that item, you don't want that. Just go right by it. Take your time here. There's no time limit in this game. Which I love. Time limits are just blah. Too much pressure. There's no points. Uh, at least you can't see the points, but you can get extra, <clears throat> extra lives by killing a certain amount of enemies. <coughs> Excuse me once again. Again, my voice, I'm not used to this much talking. The good news is I went to the doctor, I got med meds, I'm no longer contagious, and I'm feeling much better. Obviously I'm feeling better. I'm playing Contra on the Nintendo. 31 years later after it was released. I mean, it doesn't get more awesome than that. That guy can be really tricky. He, I got lucky right there. He throws stuff at you, but he didn't throw anything at me that time, pretty much. I don't think he did. I wasn't paying attention. At this level, it's all memorization, but you just have to have patience. Those spikes coming down like that remind me of Double Dragon 2, the revenge on the, the Nintendo. <clears throat> Think they're in that game. Okay. That's a rapid fire item, so I got lucky and that I was able to get it. I actually honestly don't even know if it's doing any good to get any more R um, upgrades at this point, but I get them anyway. I try to stay up in this level. You can go down, but I like to stay up on the upper tier. That item right there is, is another temporary uh, in invincibility item. Again, the B. I'm not sure what that stands for. I need to look that up. I like to know everything about the games I'm playing. Especially ones that I'm halfway good at. Yep. Right here, I got lucky. The, the M for machine gun fell right down there. That's a tough jump right there. I got really lucky. Got lucky that that was a spread gun. Because I really didn't mean to shoot that item. It could have been a laser or a fire weapon, which would have been terrible. It's like James Rolfe said in Ghosts and Goblins, you get the knife. And when you get the knife, you keep the knife. Same with the spread gun here. You get the spread gun, and you don't get any other weapon. Check this out. I got really into a jam right here. A conundrum of sorts. I'm like, oh no. Look at that. Got lucky right there. <laughs> I mean, that was luck. This has to be the easiest boss besides the first level. That's even easier than the first level. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Alien's Lair. This is the last level. Thank goodness the machine gun went down there. I don't want that. It wouldn't hurt if I got it, but... I remember seeing this enemy in Nintendo Power, if I remember correctly. Uh-oh. Poor 
is my controller. Sorry about that. I guess I let the thing idle for 15 minutes. It, it dims automatically. I should have uh, disabled that. This level's not that hard. Once you get here, you got it made. The hangar has got to be the hardest level. <coughs> Excuse me once again. This jump is really hard right here. Oh! Can you believe that? I died. First time. Here, I mean, here I am at the final boss. I'm not even caring. I'm like, yeah. I took my weapon that I've had the whole game. I'm going to annihilate you. That's it. That's the game. And what it does now, it'll show you the credits after it gives you this little cinematic. Cinematics like that were just really cool back in the day. You weren't guaranteed to get something like that in a game, but if they if they decided to put it in there, then it it was a it was an added bonus. Well, I'm not going to consider myself a hero because I died there. Look at all this. It, it doesn't like the credit, so I'm going to save everybody the time and effort of this, and uh, we'll just scroll right on through it really fast. Anyways, guys, I hope to have a video uh, coming up soon with um, a song... I've got a lot of songs planned. I'm getting a computer on the 21st of December, I, I believe. So I'm really hoping to get some new content on my channel. Maybe even go live a couple times once I get my desktop. So anyways, guys, that's it for my Contra Let's Play. Hope everyone's having a great day, great night. And I will holler at you next time.